Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Overload and today I've got for you 82 kills non-lethal in a four-man party on Demolition on the map EVAC. And it's an absolutely crazy gameplay done by the one and only Tasty. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. This, unfortunately, is not the world's most kills non-lethal in a game at the minute due to the fact that I literally just got it. I mean, I don't mean to boast or anything on someone else's channel, but literally... I've just got off playing Black Ops 3 now, and I managed to get myself the uh, solo 88 kills non-lethal in Demolition on the same map. So I'm really sorry, Tasty. I, you know, I beat, I beat your record, but oh well, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this gameplay in the background. It's absolutely insane. Make sure you drop a like if you did enjoy it. And of course, if you enjoyed the commentary too, and then my link will also be down in the description below too. So come and check out my channel. That'd be very much appreciated. So guys, what I'm going to speak about today, I'm going to give you a little bit of an opinion about Black Ops 3 because it's not really been said very much in this channel. I know you see so much Black Ops 3 content around at the minute, but it is the new, the biggest hype at the minute. And it's an absolutely crazy game. I was lucky enough to get myself a beta code from a friend of mine who, you know, he shared it out to me. Really, really, really fantastic guy. I'm so pleased that he managed to give it me it. So I hopped on, downloaded the game, and it took me three or four hours and just started playing it. And to be honest, it has a Black Ops 1 feel. And I don't know whether you guys like Black Ops 1 or anything, but I absolutely love Black Ops 1. It is, to be honest, probably one of my favourite games. Uh, aside Black Ops 2, of course, Black Ops 2 is the best game ever. Um, well, obviously, MW2 might beat it, but that's Modern Warfare 2, isn't it? We don't talk about that. We always know that that's the OG Call of Duty, and that's always going to be the best game. But... Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are very, very close. And Treyarch have done it again. They've saved Call of Duty. They've brought in this game. And for now, I've, I know there's only three maps and it's only a beta. So a lot could change before they actually bring it out. But for now, what I'm looking at and how I've played it, it looks amazing. It runs really smoothly. The gameplay itself is really fun to play. The score streaks are amazing. And it's really amazing because you can use whatever gun you want. And obviously this game is quite heavily AR and SMG dominated though. You can really tell the snipers are a little bit Black Ops 1 style. When you aim in, it aims in all over the show. The aim assist is all messed up. And also when you have the shotguns. The shotguns are good, but they're not good at the same time. Like you really have to be accurate to use a shotgun. And they do have quite a lot of range. A little bit like Black Ops 2 shotgunning, I think, in a way. Um, but honestly... In my personal opinion, I'm really enjoying it. It's a heavily based assault rifle and SMG game. The Razorback, obviously the Man of War, uh, are the two best guns in the game, I think, in my personal opinion. However, we still haven't seen the other guns. I do, I've had a go at the M8, and the M8 is really good, but it's a little bit unpredictable at times. And I've had a go at various different guns, but you also, obviously, there's the hidden gun, the, the two-burst gun that's on, like, the... Uh, the already created classes for you, but I'm not too sure I'm that much of a fan of that um, burst kind of style weapon. I used it a lot in Black Ops 2. The M8A1 was really, really common good for competitive. However, I wouldn't really use them in public matches. But anyway, guys, I absolutely love the feel of Black Ops 3. And to be honest, I can't wait until it comes out. I actually think that I'm going to play a lot of this game because I found kind of a technique, a really good technique where I can... Uh, pick up kills, I can, you know, drop good gameplays, and at the minute my KD sits around about 2.5-ish um, with like a 500 score per minute, and that's quite good for me, because normally well, actually I can tell you now that in Advanced Warfare, when I go to play Advanced Warfare I probably go negative every single game because it's just one of them things um, and in general, I think people have a general place down in Advanced Warfare, it's a little bit dumb they kind of just run around all over the show do whatever they want, that kind of thing and they don't care about dying because nobody can see their stats, nobody can see the KDs, so whatever, let's just do whatever I want but it's not good, I really don't enjoy that at all, I just like being able to play and be able to conserve the KD and stuff like that, so let me know down in the comment section below what you actually think of Black Ops 3, at the minute I'm a big fan of it it's actually not coming towards the end of the gameplay, but I'm actually running out of words to say, so I best get off the line. I've put some music on in the background to steer your way down to the 7 minute mark, but I really do hope you enjoyed, guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Tom, or you can call me Overload, and I hope to speak to you all in my next video. Peace.